So welcome to C-Square. In this video clip we're going to talk about solving inequality. So let's see what this is about. And let me start by saying this. If you know how to solve equation, inequality is pretty much the same with a minor difference, which I will point it out whenever we have an example. So but let's, take, let's start by looking to number 31. 8a minus 15 equals 73. We have, so again, 8a minus 15 greater than 73. So, like I said, if you know how to do equation, that is pretty similar. We're going to add 15 first, right, to get rid of the minus 15, and we get 8a greater than um, 88. The last step, divide by 8. And we have a a equals 11. I'm sorry, it's a greater than 11. And this is the way we show the solution analytical. We did, we did some algebraic steps and that's the solution, any number greater than 11. But if you take a look, they said graph the solution set. We're going to do that right here. A number line. I'm going to put 11 here. And we have greater than, so I'm going to use an empty dot. Okay, whenever you have greater or less than, empty dot. And now we're going to need to show the number that are greater than 11. And because I have a different color here, I will show you this way. Okay, these are numbers that are greater than 11. And this is a way to show the solution graphically, to graph the solution. Now, some people may need something else, which is called an interval notation. That will be the interval notation. Okay. So now let's take a look to number 32. Thirty-two can be done in two ways. Probably most of the most of you will do the distributive property, which will be good. I'll approach that different in a different way. I'll divide by four. And obviously the next step will be subtract 3. And we end up with x greater or equals 8. And this is the algebraic way to show the solution, any number that is greater or equals 8, 8, 9, and so on. But let's also grab the solution set, because that's what they ask us here. Okay. So as you see, I draw, I drew a number line, I put the 8 there, and now I'm going to do a full dot. And which numbers on the number line are greater or equals 8, greater than 8? Obviously, the numbers that are on the right of number 8. Let me use a different color for that. And you can also see the interval notation uh, using a bracket because you have full dot, equal, and always for infinity use parentheses. We have two more examples here. I'm going to do number 33, and I would like you to try number 34. So let's take a look at number 33, and we have 4 and times n minus 2, the quantity n minus 2, minus 6, greater than 18. So always you want to um, make the inequality simple. So in this case, if you do the distributive property, that's good. It can be done in a different way also for n minus 8 minus 6 greater than 18. Okay. So then we have these two gentlemen here, which we can combine them. Then 
then we're going to add 14. And the last step, divide by 4, we end up with n greater than 8. Okay, and again, we can do uh, the graph of these solutions. And also, we can write in interval notation. Go ahead and try number 34. Now I will tell you that you need to be careful when you divide by a negative number an inequality. Go ahead and pause the video clip and try it. So if you try it and uh, you end up with a solution, that's great. We'll, if it's the same like mine, that will be great. If you did not, let's take a look. And you see, I stop here to that step, negative 2w less than 10. Well, on the first step, I did the distributive property. On the second step, I combine negative 8 and positive 9. Sorry for that uh, bell. And uh, I end up with negative 2w less than 10. And this is the very important thing on uh, solving inequality. Whenever you divide by a negative number. Teachers, we do apologize. The bells were not reset from early release yesterday. We're changing that now. Please disregard that bell. The bell will ring at the normal bell schedule time. Thank you. So, uh, sorry for that interruption. Uh, so, we, uh, whenever we divide by a negative number, the sign switch, W, in this case, will be greater than negative 5. This is the um, difference between solving an inequality and solving an equation. Dividing by a negative number or multiplying by a negative number will switch the inequality sign. Let's do the, the graph for this uh, solution set. And also, let's write the solution set in interval notation. And that's it for today. Thank you for coming on uh, C-Square. If you like the video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more uh, video clips. Have a great day.